Okay, so on that breakout, we started off a pretty good, the decent streamline, and your pretty fly kicks were really fast, like you're really working on it, right? A decent streamline, but it's not a great one, right? Your hands are a little bit apart there, one right on top of the other. But you're putting like really strong kicks there. The little problem with the timing, right? You need to kick a little bit more. Switch to flutter kick before you start that first pull, because your arm's down here and you're still a couple feet underwater, right? So you just got a little excited, pulled a little bit early with that. Here on the entry, this doesn't look too bad, right? There's your pinky, your palms facing out. But now look what you're doing, right? You just put your hand in and you're starting to bend your elbow and your hand stays above your elbow. On the entry, right, for a split second there, you were, your arm was straight. This hand should have kept going down straight until it's deeper than your elbow. It wouldn't have been much further, right? It would have been from here down to about there and then start into your pulse. Your hand starts that much deeper and then sweeps over your elbow and then into the finish. See all those bubbles there? Yeah. By sinking your hand deeper, it gives time for all that air to get off your hands. So when you go to pull, your hands on water instead of water and air, which is slipping. And the same thing obviously with the other arm. There's your hand up there, there's your elbows. It was never underneath. So I think Looking at the pull pattern itself, it's pretty good, right? You're starting off around here and you're zooming over, finishing by your legs. You just need to start a little deeper and then go through the pattern. Okay. Oops. Okay, anyways, what you see here is, right, your shoulders are up here, your hips are down here, and then your feet are down here. So you're not really straight in the water, or flat in the water, right? So as you're swimming, you need to push up your hips, get your stomach and your hips up higher. And at the same time, that will help get your legs up. And the other thing you can do to help get your legs up is simply to kick up more, right? You kick up, 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 always there's a rhythm. And if you're doing that, you're gonna be a little shallower. The big thing is just to get your chest, or not so much your chest, but your stomach and your hips higher in the water. So it's extra drag, right, if you're plowing through. The flatter you are, the easier it will be to swim through the water. Yeah, I think really good effort on the kicks. And they're not too big. And they're not too small. The streamline up here needs to, well, it needs to be a streamline. It needs to be one. It's not. See, that timing on the breakout, you know, so that was way better. And that's where you can see the entry. Right, there's the bubble trail, straight out to the side. Sink it, then go into your pattern. One of the things that will help you sink your arms is just to roll a little bit more. Right, it's pretty flat, it's not, that's not a lot of body roll. Okay, the more you, so more shoulder roll to help get your hands deeper. But thinking about it will help and then rolling your shoulder will do the trick.